Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In our last episode, we looked at unboxing a DIY watch club uh, watch, as well as the tools uh, used to build the watch. And we spent a bit of time looking at the website. The watch that we're gonna go through building today is similar to this one. It's actually a uh, vintage pilot watch. So there is a patina on the loom that makes it look as though the watch is older than it really is. Um, and so we're going to spend some time showing how to go through the step-by-step -step process of building this. One thing to note is I'm really not trying to replace the excellent videos that are on the DIY Watch Club video site. Um, when you buy the watch, you'll get a card that has instructions for uh, accessing the video for the particular watch that you bought. And I strongly recommend that you use that to build your watch. Probably a good approach is to watch each of their videos through two or three times before you attempt each step if you haven't done this before. It's important to, to use finger cuts as you're handling the parts so that you don't get finger grease on them and attract uh, dust or other material as you're building the watch. So with that said, let's dive into actually building the pilot watch that I got. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. That helps us to grow and it helps us to attract other people to come watch. Hope you enjoy this. Okay, I've taken the case out of the packaging. Um, here it is. Um, I'm wearing finger cuts right now to just sort of avoid getting too much gunk on things. Um, they help to stop getting grease on them. So the first thing I want to do is open up the case. So, um, got this uh, case back opening tool. Uh, we can adjust the, the size of these pins. So I kind of want to dial it in a lot. And I'm really going to dial this in pretty much until on these pins tightly and then just back it off a bit. Okay, so that's pretty snug. So just pull it back half a turn. And now, as you can see, I can just unscrew the case back. Okay, and I'm just going to put this on here um, to avoid getting any dust on it. So I've separated out all the parts, um, the case front, uh, there's a movement holder that we're going to install the movement into, case back, and uh, the little winder. There's a gasket on this fella, um, which you can probably just see on the edge there. Got to be super careful not to lose that. And I want to have everything face down so I don't collect any dust. The movement we're going to use is a Miyoto 8 series. Uh, comes really nicely packaged. Got to be super careful. Um, so I'm only going to handle this um, with finger cards and, and with tweezers. Um, it's nicely packaged to avoid any damage so I can pull the tape off. Hopefully not get glue on the finger cuts. And then there's essentially a, a top and a carrier. So I want to pull this out by the side. Okay. I want to really avoid touching anything here because It's super fragile and we don't want to affect the accuracy of our watch and we definitely don't want to be putting pressure on it. I want to see if it's actually running. So maybe we can give it a little wind here. see as I'm winding this actually getting some power into it 
and we can see um, that the movement lives. So that's great. So I'm just going to grab this with my tweezers and put it down on my work surface for now. So let's just put it right here. And that's pretty neat. You can actually see that um, with a couple of winds, the watch is running. So that's cool. So let's look at how we can build this into a functioning watch. Okay, so there's a tiny little nodule right in here. Okay. And I have to push down. Okay, and I push that down and I can pull out the stem. I did actually pull it out, um, release it earlier. Okay, so we've got the stem that it ships without, which is great. We're going to use this stem, which has been uh, sprayed a bit, but we have to get the mechanism in the case first. Okay, so now we're going to try and uh, put the stem that came with it. So this has been painted on the top, um, and we're going to basically put that into the same place, just gently try and get this around. Don't want to force it, so just going to kind of squiggle it around until it clicks. Okay, and now I can feel that winding. Oops, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> dropping it and and so I can feel that winding now. And that looks like we're in the time setting position. Okay, so I'll just put it down there. Okay, great. So that all fits. Okay, so our next step is going to be to install the movement in the movement holder. And uh, so I'm just going to come down, grab this with my tweezers. And I'm going to make sure that my notches are all aligned. Okay. So, we're... My hand's in the way, sorry about that, but... Now you can see that... The movement is nicely seated in the movement holder. I'm just gonna gently seat it. Okay, the next step's gonna be to put the dial on. And I wanna be super careful that I don't get any fingerprints at all on the dial, which is gonna be interesting. So I really only, um, I'm only gonna wanna touch this with um, the finger cuts because you really don't want to get grease on it. Okay. That is a beautiful dial. It's kind of a, a retro military dial. That's a big attraction of this watch, to be honest with you. Um, don't have great light here, but you can sort of see that. Um, that's pretty awesome. So we only want to... Um, handle this by the edges and then there's these I don't know if you can see but um, right here and here there's a small lug you can just about make it out on the top that lug wants to kind of mate with these two holes on the mechanism holder I'm going to try and get them as lined up as I can and I'm going to have to 
a little bit of finessing here. But that went together pretty nicely, actually. And dropped in there really well. So, I now have my watch face sort of attached to the movement holder and the mechanism. One of the really neat things about DIY Watch Club kits is that they come with two sets of hands just in case you mess up. I was lucky I did not mess up while I was making this, but it's good to know that they're there. The other neat thing about this particular watch is that the hands have a uh, weathered loom on them, or uh, the loom has a patina on them, so they look slightly uh, brownish, and that really adds to the attraction of the watch. You can see that on the triangle at the uh, 12th position. So here I am opening up the packaging and pulling out uh, the hands. As you're pulling the hands out, make sure you're wearing finger cuffs and use the tweezers. If you get finger grease on them, it's going to attract dirt, and okay. you may not notice it then, as you put the watch together, but you may notice it, you know, after time has passed. So you can use the rotico that's supplied in the kit, um, also to clean up the hands and the face if you inadvertently get fingerprints or if there's dust on there. Um, here I'm using the hand setting tool to try and set the hour hand. Unfortunately, when I was filming this, my hand's in the way. Uh, the uh, tutorial videos on the DIY watch website are really good. What I suggest you do, especially on setting the hands and particularly on setting the second hand, is watch those videos multiple times before attempting. Okay, so I think we got the hour hand on there. Um, need to check that, but we'll do the minute hand now. It's pretty fiddly and I'm not going to video it because it's not that interesting uh, watching me flail around. But let's have a go at that and see if we can set the hands. Okay, so the minute hand's on. The proof's going to be in the pudding. Um, we'll have to see, you know, can we set these hands and do they kind of rotate over each other? So let's try that next. Let's just put this down. Okay, so for setting the hour hand, what I actually need to do is um, adjust the watch to basically pull it out to the date setting function. And I, I rotate it until uh, the date changes. So we're now on the 18th. And then I can use the hand setting tool to um, try and make sure that we got this on. So. I don't want to do this without bending anything, so... Putting the second hand on was a challenge. Can you see where it goes? The aperture inside the minute hand is less than the size of a pen. You can maybe start to see the pinion that it goes on here. If we zoom in some more, that's where it's going to go. And trying to get it on there is a challenge. In the end, the entire process took 90 minutes. The best approach was to do it by feel just by sliding it up and down and side to side you can feel where it needs to go. After an insane amount of fiddling around um, here we are uh, the second hands on and the watch is working so that's pretty cool. Alright let's get to the next stages Okay, now the watch holder and mechanism has been placed within the case. I've cleaned the case a bit and I've installed the stem. So the next step is going to be to put the case back on. Now, with all of this, I want to be careful to really only touch this. With the finger cuts on any parts that are going to go on the inside. And we can use our case back tool to make 
make sure we got that nice and tight. I think ideally I'd want to put some grease on the steel on the seal. Whoops. Yeah, be careful with that. Um, I think this went a little out of adjustment. There we go. Hopefully that didn't scratch, but hey, it's my first watch. I don't want to really hawk it down. I'll get some grease on there and that will help with waterproofing. And so the watch is now encased. It's got a neat back. Um, you can kind of see the mechanism working through the back, which is pretty cool. Focus in there. And there's the face. Okay, so the watch is pretty much done now. I'm going to take off this protective plastic that was on the back. There's a couple things left to do. Uh, one is going to be to really see how accurate it is. I don't have a time grapher, so um, that's going to be uh, a bit of an exercise. Um, And we'll see how it's doing. Um, I might see if I can pick up a cheap time grapher. Uh, the other um, thing I need to do is attach the strap. So I'll do that next. And we'll come back. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. Um, they said a couple of hours. It actually took me, if I'm honest about this, about an hour to get the second hand on. Um, but the rest of it went really smoothly. This is a really cool build. I'm really happy with this. Um, and it's a really good looking watch, so there we go. At the start of this exercise, I was pretty skeptical that it would even be possible to build a watch, let alone build a watch quickly. At the end of this, it turned out to be not too bad. Getting the second hand on was difficult, but the instructions were great, and I could not be happier with the watch. It's a really cool watch. So go try one for yourself, and have fun. See you next time.